Hi, this is Damien from DC Diagnostic Solutions. For the purpose of today's tutorial, we'll be using an oscilloscope to, to analyse the current flow through the fuel pump on this 2000 Ford Fiesta 1.25 Z Tech. The best location to test the fuel pump circuit is at the fuel pump relay. Manufacturers often use the DIN spec for terminal assignment, where we have pin 30 is the constant life from the battery to the the contacts of the relay. Pin 87 is the output to the load, which in this case is the fuel pump, and terminal 31 is the ground circuit. If we look at the control side of the relay, 86 is the supply from the ignition, 85 is the control for the winding, grounded through the module, again through terminal 31. So we remove the fuel pump relay and we'll put in this fused jumper wire across terminal 30 and 87. We can now hear the fuel pump activating. So we take our current clamp, set it to the 20 amp scale, and connect it to the oscilloscope. We selected the 10 amp scale on the oscilloscope and 20 millisecond time base. We now zero the current clamp to ensure that our zero line is in the correct place and clamp the current clamp around the wire, the, the, the jumper wire. We now see that we have a current flow between 6 and 7 amps, which is absolutely ideal, and a lovely regular uh, repeating waveform. We see each one of these humps represents a, a segment of the commutator, so we can tell very easily that the, the pump commutator and brushes are in good condition. What we can also do is measure the pump speed by using the cursors. We know this is an eight segment commutator, so by setting the cursors up for eight segments, we can get one revolution of the engine, or one revolution of the fuel pump. This is 8.6 milliseconds, which is just under nine milliseconds, so we're looking at an RPM of six and a half thousand RPM for the pump, which is absolutely ideal. We can now Remove our current clamp and the fuse jumper wire. We have some traces here from a faulty fuel pump. This is a Volkswagen Golf, which wasn't uh, wasn't starting. As you can see, this looks nothing like uh, the trace that we got from this this fuel pump. Once the fuel pump was replaced, we got a regular a regular waveform again with no no spikes or jumps or or dropouts or anything like that. Again. We used the cursors to measure one revolution of the fuel pump and we had 6.8 milliseconds which is just under 10,000 rpm. So as we saw with this one, this pump was doing 6,500 rpm, this pump just doing under 10,000 rpm. Anywhere between 5 and 10,000 rpm is absolutely perfect for the pump. This is a, a Fiat Maria which the vehicle did start and run but uh, had, no, had no power and had PO171 system too lean. So again now you can see the trace, there's, there's a, a lot of dropouts. There's a lot of time spent at, uh, at zero amps here where there's no current flow tr through the pump and we see that we have a much higher than expected current flow here, almost up to 12 amps. Uh, that's down to, that's down to the, the pump not rotating and of course we know that the motor is a dead short when it's not rotating because there's no back EMF to oppose the current flow. So this is the brand new uh, fuel pump fitted and you can see nice regular trace. So hopefully the, this tutorial has been informative.